If you're looking for other answers, I still don't have them. But what I do have is a particular set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people who mislead, misinform, or misrepresent the sports card industry. So if you don't do that, I'll let it go. But if you do, we're going to talk about you. This episode is brought to you by the great people over at Gradesaver Pro. Make sure you visit Gradesaverpro.com for all your card supply needs, including the Gradesaver Pro Pro Card Sleeve, the only sleeve with an attached pull tab, and the only sleeve I will use for my cards. And make sure when you check out, use code INVESTIGATOR. That will give you 25% off your entire order. And thanks again to the great people at Gradesaver Pro for our episode giveaway. After each episode, we will give away some of the great products from Gradesaver Pro. To be eligible, it's simple. Simply like and subscribe to the video. Leave a comment. And if you're randomly selected, we will be in touch and tell you the next steps. So congratulations to last episode's winners and good luck to you. With that, Ty, hit the music. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Sports Card Investigator Show. My name is Andy. I am the aforementioned Sports Card Investigator. And today I want to talk a little bit about something that happened in the card world, something that happened with a specific card that I um, wanted to discuss a little bit. Uh, specifically, a 2019 John Moran Chronicles rookie card, uh, card number 216 to be specific. Uh, it's not an extremely rare card. Um, and it's from an extremely common set, Chronicles. And at the time of, of its release, it wasn't hard to find at all. There were a lot available. Um, we talked about this specific card and Chronicles as a set in some previous videos. Uh, one was when it was obvious that Ja was going to win Rookie of the Year. Tyler and I were buying up lots of um, Ja leading up to the announcement. And Chronicles was a very economical uh, set and one of the sets that we targeted uh, at the time this specific card was less than a dollar and up until recently you could pick up this card for under five dollars uh, the PSA 10 of this card uh, you could have bought for between 60 and 80 dollars uh, it still has a relatively low pop count about 385 which we could discuss uh, on another episode because I'm not sure that that pop count will go that much higher because of the price of the card and the price of what has become to the price of grading. Um, and then more recently I spoke about this card. We talked about some hidden gems that you can find in lesser known sets like Chronicles or less thought sought after sets by some collectors. Uh, this card had different variations in Chronicles. It had blue and pink and bronze and the pop counts of those specific pr uh, short prints were very, very low, uh, below 20, some below, below 10. So why am I rehashing old news? Well, for those of you that follow ultra modern basketball cards, uh, you're always looking for, and if you're not, you should be looking for certain anomalies or spikes in prices of cards, especially those cards in your possession. And take a look at this chart of this uh, Chronicles, John Moran Chronicles card over the last month. Specifically, we'll look at since November 17th. Uh, and that's where we see a sudden spike in this card. Uh, this card was $5 at that point, and now it's selling for over $60. And right before taping, I looked, and there was one that sold for as high as $89. Uh, the PSA 10 of this card that was selling for 60 to 80 bucks that we talked about is now selling for more than $350. And I saw one recently that sold for $550. Now, what in the world is going on? 
I mean, Ja is not even playing. He's injured, and granted, he's having a fantastic year, and there's even been rumblings of possible MVP talk, and I have no doubt that when Ja returns to the court, he'll be back better than ever and continue his trajectory into greatness, but what is happening here with the price jump of this specific Ja Moran card and not any other card? It just is out of whack. There has to be another explanation because from a basketball standpoint, even in its most reactionary times, this doesn't make any sense. So, of course, investigation was needed. Now, the reason for this price jump, it had nothing to do with basketball. And unfortunately, what has affected the price, the demand for this card was an awful, tragic occurrence. On November 17th, rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed in Memphis, Tennessee. So what does that have to do with a John Morant Chronicles rookie card? Well, if you look at the card, you're seeing it now, you can see Young Dolph seated behind John Morant. So I believe that once word got out that Young Dolph was memorialized forever on this card. Um, not John Morant card collect collectors or card collectors in general, but the fans of Young Dolph purchased this card and is, are purchasing this card raw and graded as a memorialization or a remembrance of his life. Now, how long will prices remain at this level? I don't know. Uh, will they ever return to what they were? I don't know. Time will tell. But one thing that we have to consider is that this card will now be forever linked, not so much to John Moran, but to Young Dolph. And because of that, I believe this card will maintain some of its current value because it transcends a monetary value. And this is one of those rare instances that a sports card captures a moment in time not for what it was intended, but for something much more meaningful, much more important to people outside of the card collecting world. This card means so much to so many people, and that is what this card will be remembered for. That's it for today. If you like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you don't like what you see, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Please leave a comment. Be eligible for the giveaway. And until next time, take care.